website, dronekicks.com. You guys know the droner, he's a good friend of mine, and I just like to plug his t-shirt, which is on my body, so I'm kind of like a billboard, but human. Human. Hey, what's going on? Don't answer that question because you cannot. Thanks for choosing this. Uh, it's... What am I doing? Thanks for watching. I'm SP Mitch. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the handle on your screen right now. And directly below that is my website, spmitch.com. That's where you can find all the shoes that I pull out of beater boxes and other miscellaneous shipping boxes from retailer. I, I, I don't really know. But shoes are for sale. You can check it out if you really want to. <gasps> Hold on one second. Hi, pals! Want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Rejuvenator, Rejuvenator.com. Now, what is Rejuvenator? Besides a word with a with a number in it. <laughs> Rejuvenator is your home for all your sneaker cleaning needs. They have a whole bunch of stuff that just it really keeps your shoes clean. And I can attest to it because not only am I an influencer for them, but I have actually used Rejuvenator products for a really, really long time. Today, we're going to be focusing on the third brush in the three brush system, the soft bristle brush. Now, all month we've been cleaning a Jordan 6 and the soft bristle brush is mainly used for like really really just fine materials like suede, knits, stuff that you won't normally find on a Jordan 6. But there's a part of a shoe that not a lot of people remember to clean that you can definitely use the soft bristle brush for and I'll show you right now. So yeah, not a lot of people like to remember to clean their insoles, but sometimes you just have to. And the nice thing about the soft bristle brush, that if you have a Jumpman or any other, you know, Nike Air or Adidas Yeezy on the on your actual insole, the soft bristle brush is so delicate that it won't take the lettering off. So always a good thing. So you can check out the three bristle brush system or any other any of the other like awesome Rejuvenator products at rejuvenator.com. Today we're looking at this thing here. This is the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro in the Blue Fury colorway. This shoe released alongside the muslin rugged orange colorway that some people are calling Hennessy. But this is the other April GR that Nike SB is releasing. Uh, I got my pair on CCS. A couple other places are still yet to release them. I know Undefeated released them, but otherwise I think Extra Butter is doing a raffle and I think Tactics still has to release it, but pretty much the same deal with a different colorway and a lot of really nice materials on this shoe. So keep in mind when we're doing these closer look videos, this is not a review. This is just my chance to show you close up the materials, the colors, just the nice little aspects of these shoes that you might not see from looking at pictures. So let's take a look at the beer, at the what? At the blue flurry. <laughs> Let's take a look at the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro in the Blue Fury colorway!
again, this shoe pretty much has the same materials that in the uh, uh, rugged orange muslin colorway. You got a leather swoosh, you got Nubuck side panel and vamp, you got suede mudguard eyelets, ankles, and you got some patent leather on the heel. The biggest difference is the clear outsole. This is really nice because it's got a white midsole with a clear outsole. Secondary laces are the blue that match the swoosh. This is a really nice colorway, I'm not gonna lie. Again, it's a GR. Uh, it's not an in skate shop only release. So retail on this was 100 bucks. Um, a lot of people do have to go up a half size when you're talking about Nike SB Dunk Lows. Um, I would assume the release for these is April 1st-ish. I'm not really sure because I have a pair right now. I didn't get these hooked up. I actually bought these on CCS. This is this is very nice. This is a this is the better of the two colorways if you ask me. So there you have it. The Nike SB Dunk Low Pro in the Blue Fury colorway. Wow, I actually said it right that time. Hey, thanks for Shubinator for uh, sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I like doing these closer look videos. It's a fun time for me. I have boxes galore. There are four boxes over here to my left, uh, but we're going to have to open those. I'm going to spread them out because who knows when I'll be able to get boxes again. So thanks for taking the time to watch. I appreciate you. If you have any questions about the Blue Fury colorway, hit them down below in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, do that if you really want to. If you're not subscribed and you don't feel like it, move along. That's all there is to it. Thanks again. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and remember to make it fun because sneakers are supposed to be fun. That's, that's it. So, hey, thanks. See you later. Bye.